Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Pradeep Shinoy from uh, PACES Pro. So we are doing a, a series of lectures on MRCP part 1 exam topics. And uh, in today's topic that is on rheumatological diseases, uh, which is one of the important chapter in uh, the overall subject as it constitutes about 14 marks out of 200, which is equivalent to any other major subject such as cardiology or neurology. So today we will be discussing about uh, rheumatoid arthritis. As we know that rheumatoid arthritis is a multi-systemic disease which affects the small joints of the hands. The peak onset of uh, rheumatoid arthritis is about 30 to 50 years. Uh, it is more common in female compared to male. The prevalence in the United Kingdom is about 1% and is associated with the HLA-DR4 about up to 70%. In Felty syndrome, which is a combination of rheumatoid arthritis with spinomegaly and neutropenia, the association is much stronger, up to 90%. Just to remind that uh, those uh, slide, uh, uh, those things you are seeing in red color indicate that those are the past questions. And uh, pathophysiologically, what you get uh, in the rheumatoid arthritis is that it's a consistent uh, joint inflammation. Uh, the Pro inflammatory factors such as TNF alpha and interleukin 6 are at a higher level, which causes multi systemic involvement. So, it involves the changes in the muscle, changes in the fat, changes in the brain, changes in the liver, and changes in the blood vessel. So, high level of TNF alpha within the joint space is one of the key pathophysiological mechanisms by which the joint destruction takes place. And if you do an arthroscopy uh, in the rheumatoid arthritis affected joint, you will find a marked vascular proliferation on the synovial membrane. So as I mentioned earlier, the, the characteristic uh, features of rheumatoid arthritis is involvement of the small joints of the hands. Suppose the patient does not get uh, treated well or in, that, in such scenarios we get uh, quite a characteristic deformity of the hands, what is called a Z deformity. So Z deformity includes a, a radial deviation of the wrist along with the ulnar deviation of the digits. Then we have what is called a swan neck deformity, which consists of uh, hyperextension of the proximal interphalangeal joint and flexion at the distal interphalangeal joint. And the opposite is called as boutonniere deformity, where there is a flexion of the proximal interphalangeal joint and extension of the distal interphalangeal joint. The clinical feature of rheumatoid arthritis involves uh, almost every system, but there are few characteristic features which are which are much more common than the others. In the eye, it can cause episcleritis, scleritis. In the lung, it can cause interstitial lung disease, either primarily to rheumatoid arthritis or secondly to the treatment which are uh, which are used in a treatment of rheumatoid arthritis. In the GIT, they can cause uh, hepatotoxicity. Neurologically, they can come with carpal tunnel syndrome with entrapment neuropathy or mononeuritis multiplexa. In the vasculature, they can come with uh, profound atherosclerotic changes. In the heart, they can have pericarditis. In the kidney, they can come with the AA amyloidosis. In the joint, as mentioned earlier, it affects the small joints of the hand. So it's a symmetrical involvement of the hand joints. In the blood, it can cause anemia, thrombocytopenia, or Pelti syndrome. Let us discuss a little bit in detail about each. So, in the respiratory, the most important uh, for us is uh, presence of uh, pulmonary fibrosis. So, pulmonary fibrosis can occur for the rheumatoid arthritis per se or because of the methotrexate, which is used in the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis. And if they have um, in uh, features such as uh, diffuse expiratory wheeze, uh, then the, the commonest condition is, is which is uh, seen in rheumatoid arthritis is called as bronchiolitis obliterans. And the characteristic uh, type of a pleural effusion in rheumatoid arthritis is with low pH, with the pH of less than 7.2 and low sugar and high LDH. In the eye, we have episcleritis and scleritis. So the episcleritis is a much localized redness in the eye which is not painful, whereas scleritis is a much diffuse uh, redness of the eye and uh, it's quite painful. The patient can have osteoporosis. 
the patient can present with the uh, pericarditis of the pericarditis untreated they can come with tamponade with the features such as the hemodynamic instability chest pain tachycardia and hypotension this increases risk of infection and depression felty syndrome which is quite rare uh, it's a combination of rheumatoid arthritis with splenomegaly with uh, neutropenia the patient can come with nephrotic syndrome secondary to aa amyloidosis here there is a deposition of amyloid fibrils in the kidney so they present with uh, pedal edema and proteinuria neurologically they can come with mononeuritis multiplexa which is nothing but involvement of two or more non contiguous nerves it could be ulnar nerve and common peroneal nerve or it could be oculomotor nerve and uh, median nerve then they can come with cord compression which is a neurological emergency so this is the diagnostic criteria used by the American College of Rheumatology and uh, European League Against Rheumatism. So the key here is that the diagnosis is based on the number of joint involved, presence of serological status. So in serology we use uh, two tests. One is the rheumatoid factor which indicate whether it's zero positive or zero negative. Then second is called as uh, anti-citrullinated protein antibody also called anti-CCP which is quite specific and sensitive for diagnosis of rheumatoid arthritis then we use the inflammatory markers such as CRP and ESR and duration of symptom the key point here is that we don't use hand x-rays for the diagnosis of rheumatoid arthritis and the anti-CCP or ACPA alone will not diagnose rheumatoid arthritis with this we come to the end of this lecture thank you